Friends, hello again. I'm going to talk about this information and the link to Fool by Randomness. It's the same mechanism that makes you uh, the victim of, you know, uh, the illusion of knowledge you get in financial markets or in economics or for some classes of random variables. And this information, whether it's about COVID or about uh, the Russia war. Now, what and nitpicking, basically, <laughs> nitpicking, uh, nitpicking is uh, uh, a method used by people in this information in by moving you into the detail and making you think that the detail is representative of the whole. So, so what's what's the problem there? Okay, the problem is you take something called a detail, say an anecdote. A single random event and by emphasizing it making you think that the detail represents the ensemble it does not it's, and we are much more vulnerable to details the salient details something psychologists like uh, like uh, Danny Kahneman call the representative representativeness heuristic so we are going to be likely to be fooled by the details. As Stalin said, the death of a child is a tragedy. The death of a million is a statistic. We're much more fooled by the salient, what hits you emotionally, by images, by anecdotes, by information that a cousin of someone uh, developed rash after uh, uh, looking at a, a tube containing uh, some vaccines, for example, all these kind of things, they hit you as uh, potent information. So the important thing is the detail does not represent the ensemble, but they drown you in a detail. The detail will be more salient, uh, will hit you emotionally. It's the same thing as the anecdote is not statistically significant. As a matter of fact, if they use anecdotes, it's because it is not statistically significant. Uh, when it comes to COVID, or it'll tell you, oh, look, there are neo-Nazis in Ukraine. Okay, just like uh, there are neo-Nazis in Ukraine, there are neo-Nazis in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. You, you got to look at it in proportion and in, 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 insofar as how relevant it is to the ensemble. And then, of course, uh, they're going to tell you, just like going to tell you that some people have died after having had a vaccine or a booster. Uh, and of course, you tell them, okay, numerous people have died after having had ice cream. <laughs> so, they say, play on your reasoning skills, try to confuse you, they pound you with images, and when, when you try to engage them, they will tell you that they're factual. Look, they have evidence. <laughs> it's not evidence. So, uh, before finishing, I'm going to give you a simple... <laughs> uh, 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 illustration of how you can really be fooled. That's another level uh, from Fooled by Randomness. Look at this following story. Dentists look at, looks at his portfolio every year. He has about, he or she has about probability, 93% probability of making a, a profit. Not bad. So more than nine, nine out of 10 years would be happy. But now, if the same dentist looks at the portfolio every quarter, you have about 77% probability of winning. Eh, still okay. But now if you look at it on a daily basis, 54%. So almost five days out of 10 would be unprofitable. So and you know that it's not linear, the, the pangs from... Uh, uh, losses will uh, not be offset by the by the happiness from profits. And then, of course, if you look at your portfolio every second, it's pretty much 50.02% probability of being profitable. So basically, all you see is noise at very, very, uh, at a very, very uh, uh, high uh, granularity. So what, what does this show? It shows how we cannot aggregate information. <laughs> because noise scales uh, at uh, square root of time, 
for in this example, in the Gaussian world, actually it's worse for nonlinear uh, environments. And the information is additive, it scales with time. So uh, you see that, that we're not made you know, to look at information at a certain resolution, at a certain scale, simply because we can't generalize from these second by second variations. Likewise, we cannot generalize very easily from what information is given to us by the press or, or on Twitter or on social media. We can generalize, for, you know, for good, you know, but we need some training, but not naturally good at it. So you will have a deficit in understanding of reality. And that's what disinformation plays on. Thank you and have an excellent day. Bye now.